Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project pharmacy shop management system and I have developed this project in ESP C Sharp and MySQL and the version for the MySQL I am using is the MySQL version 5.6 and I am running this project in Visual Studio 2019. Also for connecting MySQL with ESP C Sharp I am using the MySQL connector which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website. The version for the MySQL connector I am using is the version 6.9.10 but you, if you have the latest version then you can also use that right so this is a web application so for front-end development i'm using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library also i have used for giving some good effects inside the project like for adding the validation i have used the jquery plugins for adding calendars i have used the jquery plugins right so for these all things I have used the jQuery plugin site. So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project pharmacy shop management system, right? So let's start with the functionality, go through what we have developed inside this project, right? So the project title is pharmacy shop management system and it's a ESP C Sharp MySQL web-based mini DBMS project. DBMS project because we are performing the database operations using the front-end applications here. That's why it's a DBMS project, right? Mini project because it has only and only admin login. There is no customer login available inside this project. That's why it's a mini project, right? So let's start. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a simple store home page, right? If you want to change the content of the home page, then open the default.asps and after that you can change the content there. This is about the project and it's also a static content. And if you want to change the content, you can change it from about.asps, right? This is the admin login and it's a dynamic page. If you don't have the user ID and password, then you will not be able to log inside the system and you will not be able to perform any type of operations here, right? So uh, you must have the user ID and password for login inside the system. This is a contact us page and it's a static contact us page. I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database, right? So let me go through login. So the user ID is admin and the password is test. Right. Once you log inside the system, then you will get the admin dashboard. So here you can see there are a lot of operations here. The same menu which you are seeing here is also available here, right? So let me go through one by one. Right. This is add new. This is add sales from where customer can start means admin can start the sales here. Admin needs the customer information like name and contact number, right? I'm entering the name, the Amit Kumar, Amit Kumar, and the contact number, anything you can enter. Once you click on the start billing, then you will get the order ID automatically, the order date, all of the things you will get automatically, right? Here you need to select the product, right? So the medicine, which, and the number of quantity, right? Once you click on the add to cart, then the items will be added into the cart, right? So this one and two right so i have added two medicines here right if i want to add more right this one one so this items i have added into the part right so once you click on the save on print and the whole information the whole page information will be saved into the database and you can access it later also right so this is save and print you can see the all, all of the information have has been saved into the database right okay so this is add cells this is add product right here this is add medicine from where you can add any number of medicines right suppose if you are adding new medicine to the stock then you can add it from here right okay this is the product type means add uh, medicine type like it's a syrup capsules energy drinks what the medicine type it is right so you can add your medicine type from here Right. this is the reports it contains all of the reports sales report right so this is a sales report if you want to this is the latest sales report and if you want to see the details then click on the details you can see this all informations are coming from the database this is the product report all of the product which you have added into the database will be displayed here if you want to edit it just click on the edit and after that you can update the record this is a product type report you can see there are product types and these product types will come inside this product type drop down right this drop down is totally database driven and all of the value information which is coming here is coming from the database 
right this is a product type this is a change password from where admin will be able to update his account password and after logout admin will be able to log in only and only with with uh, has updated password logout so this is the logout once you click on the logout then all of the administration will be destroyed and none of the internal administration pages will be accessed let me show you so logout you can see none of the administration pages displaying here right but if i log inside the system the administration page will display it here right you can see here right logout it's not displaying so these all functionalities i have developed inside this period the pharmacy shop management system and as i told you earlier this is a asp sister mysql web based mini dbms project right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much